Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. I haven't even played Mass Effect this weekend and I'm still like Mass Effect blah, 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 blah. Okay, we are I selected Oh my goodness, I selected this one because it's technically closer than the other one, but not by much. <laughs> But also, I remembered, um, it was stupid to say, Oh, I want to get the water-breathing thing. I should go to Poseidon. Because Poseidon's in landlocked Nevada. And in, in a desert. So, hopefully. Where is this one? Not that one. Where's the water? Demeter. If I have to wait till all the way till there, I'm going to be very upset. They've showed it in the promotional material. I deserve it. <laughs> oh, question marks. There was also... Yeah, 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 this, actually. Okay, okay, real, real quick. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna run over here. I'm like, here's the plan. Immediately break from it. That's how it works, man. In archaeology. Just in life in general, but... <laughs> In archaeology, also, you make a plan the morning of or the week before. Like, here's what's gonna happen. And then, you know, your boots hit the ground. And the plan becomes something else entirely. Hmm. This'll make a good die. Good. <laughs> you know what those remind me of? The little hover drones in Breath of the Wild. I literally was just like, oh my gosh, it's drones. But it's just machines. Well, okay, drones, machines. It's just the animal machines. Anything. Is this an... Be welcome, Outlander. What? I was like, is this an Osram camp? Room. Oh yeah, sure. Get around it. I'll, uh... Here, watch it. Wait, she cleared out the bristlebacks? Your compassion yeah. My yeah, that was old news. Ooh. Ow. Is this a... Yeah, this is... Okay. This is where we ran past. Okay. What is... Oh. Okay. She must be in a Ignoring me, again. What? Uh, me? <laughs> what are you people talking about? Oh my... Well, okay. This... I was like, these ones? No, I'm not using these. I don't like these. Oh, they have that at the Ataru camp. A grazer. What's it? Do we even have the grazers anymore? Are those the horse ones? I think... Oh, wait, hang on. I can, I can tell. I think they're the horse ones. Okay, it's just... Okay, just for selling. Because I got scared for a second. It's the heart of something. Wait. Wasn't there something that needed like a pristine tooth? Now I'm scared. There was something that I wanted to get. It was certain resources I wanted to buy. They needed a... Uh... They needed stuff like the pristine tooth as well as shards. If that's the case, man, I'm gonna be so mad. I just wanted to have a section that I knew I could sell everything safely. But now I don't want to sell that heart. I mean, I'll sell those. I think these are fine. Me? Oh, hey, look at this. Uh, okay, I'm gonna read this quietly. Wait, what? He's not a man who believes in forge You even have a name for it. Forge wives. Since when are the Osram sexist? Like, we saw that in the bio, like, the bio entry, too. For Petra. They're, they're all out here doing the same thing. They're working the same. Go 
I'm I'm confused. Don't let Petra hear you say that, or she'll hammer your head out of your behind, friend. Yeah, say that again. Yeah, uh, what, was, what was the whole forge wife thing that sounded derogatory? Oh, these are the only cards I've seen. Hey, look, it's a oh, it's my stash. <laughs> I, ha I have that. That's my double. To risk it. It. Even if we could be on the brink of a discovery here? You told me they were the best delving crew in the claim. Y you told me we'd be drowning in artifacts. Well, I found this, didn't I? It's a tray. By the sun, man! Not even the most accomplished crafters of Meridian could pull off such symmetry. I wonder what the old ones served on it. Appetizers? Seafood? It's a tray! It's probably a microchip you? or something. Shove it. You wouldn't recognize the sun if it hit you in the face. This is the savior of Meridian, the one who sees the unseen. You've come for them, haven't you? Uh, them? The relics. The lake is full of them. Something big happened here in ancient times. You mind if I take a look? Is that copies of E.T.? The ones that were buried <laughs> in the desert? <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if it is. That's a lot of data. Um, should we be sending for a healer? Whatever this is, it all points to something called a mobile cover system. Oh! You mean a cover for the tray? No. More like something that could come handy in a fight. Where did you find this? Interesting. Uh, site, uh, which is now crawling with machines. Unless they magically disappear, we are leaving! Don't you want to find out what actually happened here? Little Maybe baby. Still can. Not baby archaeologists, but they're just archaeologists dealing with a dearth of information. <laughs> so, you can't blame them. It's like that guy with the cups. He had this whole idea in the last game that, that the cups we found, the mugs, were like for an elaborate shaving ritual. <laughs> <laughs> and that you put like the different shaving creams and oils in them and Ayla was like what if you just drank out of them and he's like preposterous so it's funny to look at it in like an archaeological lens where it's like we look at stuff now from like ancient times and we're like hmm I wonder if they used it this way and blah 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 and like it seems like it makes perfect sense what they're doing calling that a tray like it looks like a little tray you know from their experience but like maybe a mosaic piece or something, you know, it could be anything. But what they can't see is like the like layers that Aloy can, you know. So it's just interesting. It's a it's very true to form. I like that they put these details in. I don't know if they do it intentionally. If they like have archaeologists or anthropologists or you know people who learned that in school or whatever. But like a gorilla, the developers. But anyway, I think it's a fun detail. What drew you to this place in particular? Every good expedition starts with a rumor. No. Tanakh, chased <laughs> Not true. Chased out of the west, returning soldiers describe this lake, rife with signs of the ancients. I knew as soon as I heard the tales that its waters promise a bounty of artifacts. A promise that hasn't been kept, at least so far. Those who are patient will be rewarded with sunlight when clouds pass. <laughs> they remind me a little bit of um who's that dragon age duo um oh my gosh the forge people the forge guys what are their names i'm going to look it up wade and heron yes 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 wade and heron that's what they kind of remind me of there's plenty of ruins in the east why come all the way out here to look for artifacts? Ah, well, while my colleagues scour the same old ruins, I intend to blaze a new trail. Loquacious Gendas, the first scholar to discover the secrets of the West. Why, I'll be as famous as the great scribe Aram. You don't seem to share his optimism. <laughs> I sell artifacts to no! no! Ideally, trinkets that are a little more glamorous than seafood trays. 
You can be so worried. <laughs> Somebody's got to pay for expeditions like these, and so far we haven't found anything <laughs> that will cover my costs. You can be so bored. <laughs> that face was awesome. Also, I knew it. It's always stuff like they always. I wish archaeology could just be archaeology in video games, and not a way to like make a quick buck. It's really sad and frustrating, honestly. <laughs> I know it's it's just a game, but then people go around thinking in real life that archaeology is just a way to like sell artifacts, and it doesn't help that that's what archaeology was in the past. You know, like way back in the 1800s. When it was just a bunch of white guys going around to other countries, like non-European countries, and just digging their stuff up and taking it back home. And like selling it or showing it off. So it's just frustrating. So you got attacked by machines at your dig site? It was horrifying. When we arrived, the site seemed as calm as a gentle breeze. I saw a glint in the water and waded in. It was the tray. I was so enamored with it, I didn't even see the machines closing in. I barely escaped. It's a hard with my drive. Life. It's a hard I was drive. There, you actually had a pretty good head start on them. Easy for you to say, gawking from a safe distance. In any event, I had hoped the Osaram would deal with them. They're supposed to be the best delving crew in the claim. Instead, all they do is moan about hazard pay. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Not a chance unless we can find some booty to cover my investment. Oh, see, he's calling you. But this guy's a scholar over here. He should know better. And I'm, but this is again. That's how sometimes old expeditions were funded. Is like either on like the prestige, and the money that came in from like um, showing off the collections later, or from actually showing or, like selling the collections themselves, at least parts of them. So it's just really frustrating, and this is making me really sad. <laughs> Where's this dig site? Seems like the best place to start if I'm gonna follow up on this. Mobile cover system. Uh, are we gonna do a first Maybe person? Figure out what actually happened here. First person the cover site base shooter. Just behind us, up the lake to the west. I knew it was no coincidence our paths crossed, Savior. Imagine what stories you'll bring us once you search the lake with your second sight. Hopefully, just the truth. The sun has truly shined upon us this day. Don't you dare attack me while I'm in here! Don't you dare! I can see you in the background. You. Look at you. You should not be able to be attacking me from that, from here. I'm in a safe place. I'm not going to take much damage from fire. Anyway, we're going to turn this into a first person cover base shooter. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A reason to stay in this unforsaken place. Why is it like throwing bits of itself off? Why is it. I wonder if I attack them from here, if they'll attack me back. If only I could have escaped with more relics. I'm too far. <laughs> I should go to that dig site Gendis mentioned. Clear out those machines and look for any clues on this. I could probably just cover system. I could probably just swim I thought I was gonna have to defeat them but I think I have to defeat more over here so I'll just go over here excellent we're gonna do this the way I usually do it well the way I try to do it let's say that I have my second uh well while you guys well while you were away <laughs> I did unlock the final well it was it yeah it was this so that I could get this isn't that what I got no why do I have oh is that my s no is 
that like my stamina? I was gonna go over here. Is that my stamina like abilities down there in the lower left? Cause I did I only had the one before. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, that was so scary. Oh, good. I wasn't sure I was gonna make that, but I did. Thank you, thank you. Let's see, this, the other thing shouldn't be too bad. It's these two guys that I worry for. I thought they were just truncated uh, crocodiles for a while, I'm not gonna lie. Or alligators, because they look like the snap moths, and they're called wide moths. And I was like, "Oh, it's just a wider alligator." Uh, no, it's a hippo. I just realized that in the last couple episodes. So one thing that always works, besides whatever elemental thing that they're weak against, is blasting. So I added an extra blast trap. At least it did in the previous game. Who knows if it's going to work in this one. The problem with this approach is that I think I lose out on detachable resources. So there's that. Oh yeah, it still works. Oh, that's how you tag the po oh, okay. I mean, I knew that, but that's how it's going to be easier to like keep track of certain things. What do these things on your butt do? What? Did a freaking Oh, wait. What? Why did my- I put some shock traps up. Did it- did it get triggered by an animal or something? Or do I have a time limit? Cause if I have a time limit on those, I'm gonna be pissed. Very nice. I have a freaking time limit on those. That's so dumb! Nope. I am hoping since it's low enough health potentially now that I can take it on in a fight and take its little face things off. Clever one. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, oh geez. Cool. Cool beans. Yep, here's what I was worried about. Come on over. How do you get its stupid little face thing off? Oh my 
goodness. I'm stuck. I am stuck. Oh my goodness gracious. This is not going the way I wanted it to. Give me face things. Trying to climb up. Okay. You can't do that. You can't do that. That's cheating. All clear. Doesn't look like there's much here. But these ruins fall off into the water. Won't be able to dive too deep, though. Scrap a radar. Nice. Okay, let me refill everything. I should take a look at the ruins. Under yes, the water. I will. See if I can find any clues. See now, I see this kind of rock, and it's this sort of like. This isn't a great example, but it's a semi-patinated surface, which means you're more likely. Not more likely. That's a lie. Not a lie. That is a um. A big leap. I was gonna say you're more likely to find rock art. You're not more. You you. How do I say it? For the hunt. Not every patinated surface has rock art, but the best, most preserved, the most preserved rock art we have is on generally on patinated surfaces, which means they have a higher magnesium content, and it makes the surfaces a little darker. Um, so when you, you know, it's generally for petroglyphs when you peck them out of the rock, in whatever design style you want to do, um, it shows up at least easier to see on a darker patinated surface. <laughs> Is that all the goodies? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to dive as deep as I need to for this. Ancient supply safe. Ho ho. Is there a Zora armor I can get? Oops. So that I can swim longer. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, maybe we... Let me select it, actually. Just so I have an idea. Oh. If I swim too fast, it it makes my air go away much faster, I feel like. Mm. Not actually sure how to get in there. Console underwater, but I 
can't hold my breath long enough to yank it out. Oh, so I can't do anything yet. I saw also, oh hey, can I kill you? Oh my gosh, can I kill these fish? I oh, I can't do any. Man, I can't even can't pull out a melee weapon or anything. I probably have to get a harpoon. There's also something purple under the water. Oh my gosh, it's just that glow gleam stuff. Stealth kelp. Woohoo. Oh, a cluster. That's different. So I need to get the cool air breathing thing. I'm about to look that up, I tell you what. Let's go look at this thunder jaw really quick. I think it's over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I've needed one of you. I think. Oh, there it is. What's that? What is that? Is that a... Oh my gosh, you've preemptorily set up drones? Is that what that is? Could you try using acid ammo? You monster? Oh my gosh, no. Absolutely not. I am in no position whatsoever to be taking you on. Oh, stop scanning. Absolutely not. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my gosh, it's terrifying. Oh my gosh, very much similar to how I feel being chased by a dinosaur would feel like. Better shake off this wet. Yeah, like a dog. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. I have no idea what happened really in this one, but we did get to meet some nice new friends and kill the rat. And kill the hippo. And a hyena. Or two. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much. And Christopher, my tree tier patron, thank you so, so much for your support. I appreciate it a lot. You're the super bestest. So, thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.